this is your first time in London and how are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's my first time and it's really it's really a great experience. Like even if I'm here just for two days, I'm loving like the, the weather, everything here in London. And um how were you received by the fans here? Oh well this is today palang yung first day to meet up with the, the the Filipino community but whenever we go around if we see like a Filipino it feels like we're just at home. They're really welcoming as in super nice and voila, they're really nice, they're really nice. And um what is your reaction about your popularity even abroad? Oh. No no man no uh, well, it's really overwhelming because people from different countries know you, like Filipinos from different countries like have re will recognize you. But, you know, in some instance, you can't just like, uh, you're just like, it's surreal. Like, you can't explain, but you're really thankful and blessed for everything. That's all the blessings. Talaga. And um, you are that as the phenomenon in the oh. Philippines. And you almost think, it's not just me saying it, but oh. also newspapers, that you almost single-handedly brought Volleyball back into the mainstream prominence with your big set of fans. So, um, do you see yourself as an icon or role model to your fans? Well, I see myself as someone naman, as like a, a normal student athlete that will just uh, give, give her all every game and just play the sport that she loves. And, you know, it's just... It will just follow it, everything. So I'm just really thankful that I'm given a chance to be an, uh, a role model to everyone. But, you know, I'm just a normal student athlete, just any, everybody else. And um, so what is it like, what is it like, going on from that question, was it like to be uh, some sort of source of empowerment for your fans, especially to impressionable young girls? Definitely, it's really a big responsibility and but an, an obligation but if you if you're just doing what you love there's no such thing as responsibility divine obligation you're just doing the things that you love so there's no parang hindi ka naman masyado nahihirapan kasi you're just doing something that you you normally do and usually do so and um so you had an amazing career oh. to say the least in the past years and with multiple MVP awards under your belt, you're also regarded as the best athlete to have been part of Ateneo's athletic teams. So, do you think you can top what you have? You can top what you have achieved so far. Well, there's sabi nga nila, there's always room for improvements, pa. And as a, as an athlete, also, you know, this is just one chapter of your life. There there are a lot of things to to your dreams, pa, to play in different leagues, to play in different tournaments, diba? This is just a stepping stone. This is just the the head start, siguro. Cause I'm just gonna go to the outside world, real world, and there, tignan natin, then natin malalaman kung hanggang saan talaga tayo. Speak of the real world, yeah. now that you've finished your UAAP stage. Yeah. So what should we look forward to from Eliza Valdez next? Well, as of now, I just had like skills count and now I'm trying to like uh, reach out also to Filipino communities out of, outside of the Philippines. And after that, I'm gonna go back, play for a league naman. And then try to to uh, look for. Shabra as an athlete, you really want to represent your country also. That's my dream. And I really want to play abroad. Uh, try to get some experience outside of the country. And then go back in the Philippines and try to share everything that I've learned. So, yun palang naman. It's really general, general, broad, not yet specific, but you know, that's the dream naman. How did your life? Change because it has been undeniably an amazing journey for you. And um, how would you say your UAAP stint change or affected your life? My God, really, I think really change is the most constant thing in this world. And I never thought I've been. I, I'm gonna be here in London. I'm gonna play in the UAAP. I'm gonna be with Ateneo. You know, those things. It, it's just I think God like, like has a plan for you, and it's just. I mean, it just fall into places to do, and I'm just really thankful that uh, everyone, my family, is always there to support me. I think that's really important, the good support system, and you know, I'm just 
really thankful for everything. I never asked for anything like this, but it, it's given to me, you know. So I'm, I'm just really thankful and really blessed. So you, you said that you're going around this time, meeting yeah. the communities around the world. So how does it feel for you meeting loads of Filipinos who uh, you were amazed to been enriched by your popularity? Uh, oh, you know, it's really... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, how do you explain that feeling? Apparently, it's you. I really didn't know na, na volleyball is really known outside of the Philippines. Also, I mean, like people are are really watching. Filipinos are really watching volleyball. So I'm really shocked whenever people just want to have a picture with you, just just smiling at you. You know, that small little things that you you see whenever people see you. It's something that you, you never thought that it's gonna happen for Philippine volleyball. Yeah, but um, you said you feel a bit shocked, but beyond yeah. that, because they say that you has, uh, you're one of the names that brought volleyball back into the mainstream. So how does that personally feel no. for you, knowing that these people probably know volleyball because you, because they were fans? Well, thank you so much for believing in me and trusting me and always watching and about watching me and the, my team but definitely I think I'm not gonna be here we're not all gonna be here if not for for everyone before the the people the veteran the the people who played even without the co TV coverage without social media if if weren't for them right? so it's really it's really the the Siguro collective ano, efforts of everyone behind and in front of the camera. And uh, finally, if you have a message for your fans, not only in the Philippines but also abroad, what would it be? Oh my god, thank you so much for supporting uh, Ateneo women's volleyball team. Not only the our team but the Philippine volleyball, diba? It's, it's affecting everything, eh, the whole community, talaga, by which is supporting an individual. But I hope uh, I could say thank you to each and everyone. Because it's really, I think I don't have enough like media, medium also, because I'm graduating also. So, hindi ko rin alam kung saan ko sila makikita next, kasi iba na rin yung liga ng mga sasalihan ko. But really, thank you. Sana po tuloy-tuloy nating supportahan ng Philippine Volleyball. And sana makita-kita tayo, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, sa iba't ibang lugar din po.